Hello friends, welcome back. Hearty welcome to you. Let's try to look at this quadratic equations. Interesting example. I have prepared this example for you. If you found it is interesting, please do let me know. Let's start. A two digit number is squared. A two digit number is squared. So let us say something like we have taken 54 and we multiplied that with again with 54. Okay. The resultant number first digit that means whenever you multiply them you know there will be four digits. So let us say they will have four digits one two three four four digits. The resultant number first digit is two less than the first digit of the number. What is the first digit of the number five? The resultant number first digit is two less than the first digit of number that means this should be something like four here. The second digit is second digit of the number. Second digit of the number is 4. So that will be 4. Third digit is the first digit of the number. That means that will be nothing but the 5 there. This is just example we are taking. This may not be exactly correct. And the fourth digit is 1 less than the first digit of the number. 1 less than the first digit. That means again it will be 5 minus 1, 4. So this this is what is we have been given. We also have been told that if the first digit of the number is 3 more than the second digit then what is the two digit number. So how will we solve this problem? First we have to start with what is that two digit number. We know that the relation between the digits of that two digit number is the first digit is 3 more than the second digit. So first statement I will write down let the two digit number B. We know first digit of the number is three more than the second digit. Let us say the first digit is X then the second digit will become X minus three. So this is my first digit and this is the second digit and we know here it is in tens position this is in unit position ok so let the two digit number be x comma x minus 3 why because we have been given the first digit of the number is 3 more than the second digit ok now what is the relation between this and the resultant number so what exactly we are trying to do now we are taking x x minus 3 we are taking x x minus 3 and we are multiplying it when we multiply what we got we have been told that we will get four digits and the first digit there first digit the resultant number first digit is 2 less than the first digit of the number what is 2 less than the first digit of the number that's nothing but x minus 2 so that is my first digit the second digit is second digit of the number what is the second digit of the number x minus 3 so the second digit is nothing but x minus 3 the third digit is the first digit of the number what is the first digit of the number x so that will be x and the fourth digit is 1 less than the first digit of the number that means it is x minus 1 now we have to find out the x value such that this multiplication holds good we have to find out the x value so we will solve it into solve it as a quadratic equation what we will do now this x x minus 3 first let's find out what is the value of the let's find out what is the value of this two digit number we'll write down here value of two digit number equal to here we are in tens position so I have to multiply with 10 into x then for that I have to add units position 1 into x minus 3 so the value of the two digit number is 10x plus x minus 3 10x plus x minus 3 are equal to 11x minus 3 ok so when you square the number what will happen 11x minus 3 11x minus 3 
you are multiplying again with 11x minus 3 because that's a value of the two digit number this is equal to the resultant number is here now if you observe here this first digit is in thousands position thousands place second is in 100 third is in 10 and the fourth is 10 so what is the value of the resultant number we'll write down here the value of the resultant number resultant number is equal to I have to multiply with thousand thousand into x minus 2 plus 100 into x minus 3 plus 10x plus x minus 1 so this is the quadratic equation what we are trying to do now is we are equating the squaring of the two digit number equal to the resultant number we are equating the values of them so value of the two digit number is 11x minus 3 so when you square it it should be equal to the resultant number we have the digits here to get the value we have to multiply with the position where we are so let's simplify this this is equal to 11x minus 3 whole square equal to 1000 into x minus 2 let's write it down 1000x minus 2000 plus 100 into x minus 3 that is 100x minus 300 plus 10x plus x minus 1 let's go to the next step so square it on left hand side 11x minus 3 a minus b whole square formula I will have 121x square a square plus b square that is 9 minus 2ab 2 into 11 into 3 that is 66x equal to I can add like terms 1000 100 10 and 1 I can add up add them up and I can say 1111x minus 2000 minus 300 minus 1 so that is minus 2301 this is a quadratic equation we'll convert this into so I'll write it as 121x square minus 66x minus 1111x plus 9 plus 2301 equal to 0 so this is equal to 121x square minus 1177x plus 2310 equal to 0 you may think that seems to be a very big number no you divide by 11 it will become 11x square minus 107x plus 210 equal to 0 so what we have done here divided by 11 now we have sum equal to minus 107 and the product equal to 210 into 11 so now I will try to write 210 as 7 into 3 into 2 into 5 21 42 into 5 into 11 so that's the prime factorization I have done we need the sum to be 107 so we will take 7 11 are 77 and 30 so I will write it as my next step will be 11 X square minus 77 X minus 30 X plus 210 equal to 0 so that's nothing but equal to 11 x into x minus 7 minus 30 into x minus 7 equal to 0 we have a number there so when you simplify this you will have 11 x minus 30 into x minus 7 equal to 0 or x equal to 7 because x cannot be a fraction 30 by 11 so x equal to 7 so let's let's go back to our problem and cross check whether it's okay or not we know that the number we took is x x minus 3 
you multiply with x x minus 3 we said that the answer will be first digit will be x minus 2 second one will be x minus 3 the third one is x and the last one is x minus 1 so let's check that x equal to 7 so x minus 3 will be 4 so the number is 74 the number we got as 74 we'll verify that now 74 into 74 if you do you should get 7 minus 2 that is 5 the second digit 4 the first digit 7 and 7 minus 1 6 you can cross check we will get 74 into 74 is 5476 that's a quadratic equation example I have created for you so if you like it just please do let me know your feedback on that so I'll catch you once again with another interesting example thanks for your time and support bye for now